Knowing how to create and maintain databases is essential to every on-screen takeoff user. A database, as indicated by the yellow cylinder on the Bids tab, contains two main components. It contains all the bids you've created within that database, as well as all of the information in the master tables. This includes a list of employees, job statuses, condition types, cost codes and payroll classes, which are important for our DPC users, the style library and sets, which are a collection of your saved condition templates, and the default layers list. So to recap, the database contains your bid information, as well as the information stored in the master menu. Before you create a new database, you'll first want to decide upon a default location in which to save it. To do this, go to the Tools menu, and then select Options at the bottom of the menu. Within the Options window, select the Folders tab on the far right. There are two folders you want to pay special attention to on this tab, the Database folder and the Backup folder. The Database folder is where your primary working version of your database is stored. So as you work on your bids, the information is updated to the version of the database stored here. At regular intervals, you also need to create backup copies of your database. When you do so, a copy is made of the database that is stored within the database folder, and that copy is then placed in the backup folder location. We recommend leaving the database folder at its default location. However, you should change your backup location to a separate drive, so that should your hard drive crash, you won't lose all of the data in both your primary and backup storage locations. If you are uncertain where to store the databases or their backups, consult your organization's IT department. To change a default storage location for either the primary or the backup databases, simply select the magnifying glass icon to the right and select a new location from your file directory. Then press OK to close the options window. Now you're ready to create a new database. To do so, select the file menu in the top left corner of the screen, then select New, and then Database. You're then asked to choose between two different types of databases, Microsoft Access or a Microsoft SQL Server database. Microsoft Access databases are single user databases that are stored on your local computer. Most users use Access databases. Microsoft SQL Server databases are intended to be multi-user databases stored on a central server. These are typically only used by larger organizations. It's recommended that SQL Server databases are set up by IT professionals only. Please reference the on-screen takeoff user guide for more detailed information. Once you select your database type, a database properties window displays. Here, you'll first give your database a name. Next, you'll indicate your primary measurement mode, imperial or metric. Note that you can change this preference for individual bids within the database. Then, decide how often you'd like to back up your database and the number of backups to establish. It's recommended that you set the auto backup field to after each use. Finally, select how often you'd like the database to auto compress. This is a process that helps keep your database file size small and should be run periodically. Press OK once you've made your selections. Now that you've created your database, you need to establish some default settings for the jobs within this database. Select the database from within the Bids tab, and then click the Tools menu, and then select Options from the bottom of the menu. Then select the New Bid tab. Here, you can indicate settings to apply to jobs within your database, such as the next bid number and pricing method default. You can further indicate page defaults, such as page size and scale, followed by default settings for the image legend. Further, if you go to the Fonts Colors tab, you can make decisions about default fonts and colors for items such as text boxes, labels, dimension lines, and highlights. Press OK once you've made your decisions regarding the defaults. Now this database is set up and ready for use. It's important to create databases on a regular basis. For most users, it's recommended to create a new database annually. However, some organizations create new databases for different estimators, different geographic locations, or even different offices, in addition to the time frame consideration. However you decide to go about creating the new databases, it's important to maintain them once you do. To maintain your databases, select the Open icon at the top of the screen. The Open Databases window displays, which shows you information about all of the databases on your computer, both past and present. Notice that not all of the databases in the Open window necessarily display on the Bids tab. To make a database display, 
simply select the checkbox to the left of it in the Open Databases window. To hide a database, deselect that checkbox. More importantly, you need to open this window occasionally to review the size of your databases. For Microsoft Access databases, which are used by most people, you want to keep your database smaller than 40,000 KB. This size limit helps to create maximum stability and efficiency when working in that database. While it's generally recommended that you create a new database once annually, organizations that bid a larger volume of jobs might need to create databases more frequently to stay beneath the 40,000 KB threshold. It's also best practice to run a compact repair on a regular basis. This keeps the size of your database down and cleans redundant data to keep the database in its best possible working order. Simply click on the database for which you want to perform the compact repair, and then select the Compact Repair button at the bottom of the window. This process usually completes in a matter of seconds. As you work in your databases, it's likely that you'll create new master table items over time. However, when you create a new database, it's empty, and none of the master menu items you created in your previous database are initially available. You need to copy those items over from your previous database and into the new database. This transfers over things like your job statuses, employees list, condition types, and saved condition templates, so that you don't have to spend time recreating all of these items from scratch. To do this, go to the Tools menu, and then select Synchronize Databases. First, choose the Source Database. This is the older database with all of the master table data within it. Then, select your Destination Database. This is the new empty database into which you want to transfer all of the master table data. You can then choose to transfer all of the data by leaving the Synchronize All Master Menu Tables checkbox selected, or you can deselect that checkbox and choose which specific tables to transfer over. Once you've made your selections, press Start. Again, this process usually completes in a matter of seconds. Now, working within your new database is just like working in your previous database.